CIET NCERT presents audiobook of geography for class 7 entitled Our Environment. This is the chapter 2 Inside Our Earth from page 7 to page 11. Page 7 The Earth, our homeland, is a dynamic planet. It is constantly undergoing changes inside and outside. Have you ever wondered what lies in the interior of the earth? What is the earth made up of? On the right side of the page we have an informative box titled Do You Know? The deepest mine in the world is in South Africa. It is about four kilometers deep. In search for oil, engineers have dug a hole about six kilometers deep. To reach to the center of the earth, which is not possible, you will have to dig a hole 6,000 kilometers deep on the ocean floor. Interior of the earth Just like an onion, the earth is made up of several concentric layers, with one inside another. We have a figure 2.1 to the right side of this text column. It shows the different concentric layers, one inside the other. The uppermost layer over the Earth's surface is called the crust. It is the thinnest of all the layers. It is about 35 kilometers on the continental masses and only 5 kilometers on the ocean floors. The main mineral constituents of the continental mass are silica and alumina. It is thus called Cl, C from silica and L from alumina. The oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium. It is therefore called Cma, C from silica and Ma from magnesium. There is a figure on the right side of this showing continental crust and oceanic crust. Just beneath the crust is the mantle, which extends up to a depth of 2,900 kilometers below the crust. Page 8 The innermost layer is the core with a radius of about 3,500 kilometers. It is mainly made up of nickel and iron and is called knife, ni for nickel and fe for ferrous, that is iron. The central core has very high temperature and pressure. On the top left corner of the page we have another informative box titled Do You Know? The crust forms only 1% of the volume of the earth. 84% consists of the mantle and 15% makes the core. The radius of the earth is 6,371 kilometers. Below this, we get to know about the word origin. Igneous. It comes from a Latin word ignis, meaning fire. Sedimentary. It comes from a Latin word sedimentum, meaning settle down. Metamorphic. It comes from a Greek word metamorphos, meaning change of form. There is another small box about glossary. Fossils. The remains of the dead plants and animals trapped in the layers of the rocks are called fossils. Rocks and Minerals The Earth's crust is made up of various types of rocks. Any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the Earth's crust is called a rock. Rocks can be different color, size and texture. There are three major types of rocks. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. When the molten magma cools, it becomes solid. Rocks thus formed are called igneous rocks. They are also called primary rocks. 
there are two types of igneous rocks, intrusive rocks and extrusive rocks. Can you imagine lava coming out from the volcanoes? Lava is actually fiery red molten magma coming out from the interior of the earth on its surface. When this molten lava comes on the earth's surface, it rapidly cools down and becomes solid. Rocks formed in such a way on the crust are called extrusive igneous rocks. They have a very fine grained structure, for example, basalt. The Deccan Plateau is made up of basalt rocks. Sometimes the molten magma cools down deep inside the Earth's crust. Solid rocks so formed are called intrusive igneous rocks. Since they cool down slowly, they form large grains. Granite is an example of such a rock. Grinding stones used to prepare paste or powder of spices and grains are made of granite. Rocks roll down, crack and hit each other and are broken down into small fragments. These smaller particles are called sediments. These sediments are transported and deposited by wind, water, etc. These loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form layers of rocks. These types of rocks are called sedimentary rocks. For example, sandstone is made from grains of sand. These rocks may also contain fossils of plants, animals and other microorganisms that once lived on them. Igneous and sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure. There is a picture on the left of this text showing sedimentary rock turned into a metamorphic rock. For example, clay changes into slate and limestone into marble. Page 9 Rocks are very useful to us. The hard rocks are used for making roads, houses and buildings. You use stones in many games. For example, seven stones, pitu, hopscotch, stapu or kitkit, five stones, gitti. Find out some more such games by asking your grandparents, parents, neighbours, etc. There is a box with two pictures for an activity titled Let's Do. Collect pictures of some monuments and find out which are the rocks used to build them. Two pictures have been collected for you. We see the picture of Red Fort. The title says The Red Fort is made of red sandstone. The second picture is of Taj Mahal. The text reads as, the Taj Mahal is made of white marble. You will be surprised to know that one type of rock changes to another type under certain conditions in a cyclic manner. This process of transformation of the rock from one to another is known as the rock cycle. You have already learned when the molten magma cools, it solidifies to become igneous rock. These igneous rocks are broken down into small particles that are transported and deposited to form sedimentary rocks. When the igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure, they change into metamorphic rocks. The metamorphic rocks, which are still under great heat and pressure, melt down to form molten magma. This molten magma again can cool down and solidify into igneous rocks. There is a picture on the bottom right side of the page next to this text which shows this rock cycle. We can see the different types of rocks changing from one to another under the conditions required. Page 10. 
Rocks are made up of different minerals. Minerals are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical properties and definite chemical composition. Minerals are very important to humankind. Some are used as fuels. For example, coal, natural gas and petroleum. They are also used in industries. Iron, aluminium, gold, uranium, etc. In medicine, in fertilizers, etc. Let's do. There is a small figure to the left side of the top of the page suggesting an activity titled Let's do. What are the minerals found in your state? Collect some samples to show in your class. Exercises 1. Answer the following questions. Part 1. What are the three layers of the earth? Part 2. What is a rock? Part 3. Name three types of rocks. Part 4. How are extrusive and intrusive rocks formed? Part 5. What do you mean by a rock cycle? Part 6. What are the uses of rocks? Part 7. What are metamorphic rocks? 2. Tick the correct answer. Part 1. The rock which is made up of molten magma is A. Igneous B. Sedimentary C. Metamorphic Part 2 The innermost layer of the earth is A. Crust B. Core C. Mantle Part 3 Gold Petroleum and coal are examples of a. Rocks b. Minerals c. Fossils Part 4 Rocks which contain fossils are a. Sedimentary rocks b. Metamorphic rocks c. Igneous rocks Part 5 the thinnest layer of the earth is a. Crust b. Mantle c. Core 3. Match the following 1. Core 2. Minerals 3. Rocks 4. Clay 5. Cial Your choices are a. Earth's surface b used for roads and buildings c made of silicon and alumina d has definite chemical composition e innermost layer f changes into slate g process of transformation of the rock page 11 4 Give reasons. Part 1. We cannot go to the center of the earth. Part 2. Sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments. Part 3. Limestone is changed into marble. 5. For fun. Part 1. What are the minerals most commonly used in the following objects? Part 2. Identify some more objects made up of different minerals. Below this question we have a box in which some objects are shown. The objects are Karhai, Pan or Tava, some ornaments, Bell, Hammer and a Lamp. The chapter 2 of total 9 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Production Assistant Shanu Muksim Producer Vimalesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India